I saw a demon on my shoulders, looking like patriarchy, like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleaching another carpet. How my That's, that's a fire bar. You're watching Two Brains React. This brain is Marlon. This brain is Liv. And today we are going to react to the new song from No Name. Mm -hmm. Was it song 33? 33. Yes. So this is a direct response to the J. Cole Apparently, song, from J. Cole what single. So yes. check that out. We've reacted to that already. But this is produced by Madlib. So produced by Madlib. I mean, it says Madlib on the front. Yeah, so it's produced by Madlib. How can, how did they turn that around so quick? They might have had... I don't know. Well, Has he, no name worked with Madlib before? Not that I'm aware of, but yeah. she might have been sitting on this beat for a while. Oh, yeah, that's possible. She might have been sitting on the beat for a while. The beat. Yeah, very, very possible. Okay, so we heard what J. Carl has to say. Let's see what she has to say back. Yes. So this is song 33. Oh, I have ambitions. Dreams. But dreams don't come cheap. I saw it. It's one minute and nine seconds. It's like nothing. Oh, so it's very short. Very short. Very, very short. Okay. It's going to be one verse. Right. But I mean, Jake Holmes was. He just had a really long instrumental yeah, yeah, yeah. Some singing as well. So. I saw a demon on my shoulders looking like patriarchy, like scrubbing blood off the ceiling and bleaching another carpet. How much? That's, that's a fire bar. <laughs> I saw a demon on my shoulder and it looked like patriarchy. Right. Yeah. So if, if this is to believe that this is a response to mm -hmm. what J. Cole said. Yeah. If people thought that he was stepping in in a situation that mm, just didn't call didn't, for him, wasn't warranted, right? From her position, you think that? Yeah, she's can, probably thinking, "Why do you have to?" Another man what telling I'm me doing. what to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, that could be a valid point. Yeah. One girl missing another, but niggas in the back, quiet as a church mouse. Basement studio when duty calls to get the verse out. I get niggas in the back, quiet as a as a church mouse. Quiet as a church mouse. When the girls go missing. But then she was saying something else, like, but something about when it comes to getting a verse out in the studio or something. Let me go back. So if she said, listen. okay. No when duty calls to get the verse out. I guess the ego hurt now. It's time to go to work. Wow, look at him go. She said, I guess the ego, what, the ego hurt. Right. When so she said niggas in in the back quiet as a studio. Mm. Right? So do you think she's? Oh, again, this is might be a reference to the patriarch again. Mm. Niggas ain't calling out the shit they should be calling out. Maybe, or maybe they're saying that they don't care as much when it's like women involved. Yeah, but again, like again, just to play devil's advocate, if you take mm. that argument, yeah, again on the flip side, if what what like what the issue people had with what Jacob was saying is that mm. she doesn't have an obligation to do or say anything as an artist, right? So those niggas in the back of the studio, yeah, even if you're frustrated with the fact that they're not speaking out on certain things, yeah. They don't have an obligation. No. I mean, that's to... the whole criticism people, before the, the songs came out, yeah. people were saying, like, where's Kendrick and J. Cole? Like, yeah. like, where are they in these protests and stuff? Yeah. No, but they don't have an obligation to say that shit. Even if they, even if they weren't doing that stuff publicly, mm. you can look at them and be like, like, what are you doing? Like, right, you, know, yeah, you have an yeah, obligation. Yeah. Like, I don't owe you anything. Right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. They are and good they're the ones doing the stuff in the background. Yeah, they're... Like, the, they're actually... They're people that yeah. are good enough that will do those things without being prompted. Right, yeah. Write about me when the world is in smokes, when it's people in trees. Why'd you write about me when the world is in smokes? Right. So. Yeah, I mean, to be, at the end of the day, why is he criticising other people with the same cause as him when he should be criticising the system that's yeah causing it in yeah. the first place? I mean, again, so like... You know, J. Cole's never been one to shy away from criticising the system. So I, yeah. I think the main issue is the timing of, because yeah. of what's been going on now, if this song had dropped six months ago, mm. it might not have stirred this. It's good because yeah. he's always he's always been out and calling out shit. Like, he's done yeah. that throughout his career. But it's just that at this point in time, mm. that's maybe more needed than, right. than this. Yeah. George was back and forth, mother saying he couldn't breathe. He thought to write about me. One girl missing, another one goal missing. One girl. Did you see what she said? What'd she say? They said about George mm -hmm. saying he couldn't breathe. It's like, so why are you writing about me and not about him? Yeah. But little did I know all my reading would be about there is trans women being murdered and this is all he can offer and this is so all y'all She said, little did I know all my reading would be a bother. Right. Trans, pe trans girls, trans people being murdered and this is all he can offer. Right. So he yeah. mentioned that, you know, about his like false kind of aura of intelligence right, which yeah. he admitted to he's like yeah, no, I'm yeah, not yeah. that intelligent you're yeah, projecting yeah. it onto me yeah. but it's the, the fact that he's addressing it in front of 
mm. wider issues like trans people being murdered. Right, yeah. This is a new vanguard. I'm a new vanguard. Okay. No, it was very short. Very short, but that beat was fire. And it's Madeline. <laughs> yeah. It's Madeline. I bet it was fire. So shall we have a look at the lyrics if we missed anything? Yeah. So her whole line of argument is that, look, there's more important things going right, on right yeah. now. Yeah, so then... like, why are you criticising me yeah. right now? Like... But I... I don't know. Like... I don't think... From what I heard from the J. Cole lyrics... Mm. It wasn't... There wasn't that much critique. I think... I think he kind of... Because he prefaced it by saying... I mean, he did say he was bothered by, like, how she was coming across. Yeah. But like, I, don't, I don't know if it's fair to say that he wasn't... Obviously, like, it wasn't the focus of his thing, but he, you know, he did address some some things, but not mm. obviously... This sh- probably should have been at the forefront of the song. Right. So she said, Little did I know all my reading would be a bother. It's trans women being murdered, and this is all he can offer. And this is all you'll receive distracting from the convo with organisers. They talk in abolishing the police and this, the new world order. We democratise in Amazon. We burn down borders. Oh, so do you think Amazon is in Amazon the company and burn down borders and burn the down, burning yeah. Amazon forest? Yeah. This is a new vanguard. I'm the new vanguard. I don't, I don't, I don't, mm. understand. I don't see why this is, the, why this is such a big deal. I think people are right. looking for, the, the irony is that these are two artists that probably have a lot of respect for one another. Yeah. And it's people that are projecting. I, th- mm. I think it's people that are projecting and trying to like divide them to force mm. some beef. Right. I don't think it's that. Like you can still have like opposing views and ways to go about things, but you still have respect for each other. Right. It's yeah. not that. And I think they both made valid points. I think they both made valid points. I think they didn't. I don't think either of them stooped to a level where they no. were just, you know, yeah. just. Good yeah. each other. Because I, I would say the strongest point that J. Cole had was where he said, um, what's he, say? he said, what's the point of preaching uh, your message to people that already agree with you? Right. And I think that's facts. Right, yeah. But on the flip side, I think the strongest message that she had was, this isn't the time. Right, yeah, Like, there's yeah. more important things right now, like, more than ever. Right. It's, like, don't at me. Right, right. Like, we're... In the grand scheme of things, this beef is nothing. This is right. Yeah, there's more important things. Yeah, for sure. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what we thought of the song. Let us know in the comments below what you thought. Make sure to like, subscribe, and dong the bell. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.